Needless to say, patience is a must when flying these days. Many people are stressing out over COVID and those flight delays make it only that much worse. Consumer reporter John Mattery shows us why it may be so tough to get help in his Don't Waste Your Money report. If you've tried to call an airline this holiday season, you don't need me to tell you that you can wait hours and hours to reach a live human. Well, there may be some good news for the new year. Dana Meyer was flying to a disabled American veterans meeting and barely made it. It was horrible. I was on hold for a long time, transferred multiple times and still could not reach the person that could fix my flight. By now, most travelers had hoped calling an airline would be getting easier. But a new Wall Street Journal report says it's still tough, saying your whole time will be approximately one zillion hours. Janet Sanders was trying to leave New Orleans before Hurricane Ida. When we were in New Orleans trying to get some information, we were on, what, half a day. I mean, it's a long, long way. There are a number of reasons why it can be so tough to reach an airline these days, from COVID-related staffing shortages to the fact that so many people are trying to change their flights or have had the airline change their flight times. But Delta Airlines says things are improving. Delta's just added 1,300 call center agents emailing customers to say, we know our call wait times have been frustrating. We continue to do everything possible to meet and exceed your expectations. Average wait times have been reduced since June and continue to shorten every week. The points guy suggests call early, say existing reservation, and leave a callback number so they can call you. Dana Meyer got through too late. It was very frustrating, and then I ended up missing my flight. Finally, the points guy says if you can't get through by phone, try messaging an airline through their app or Twitter. That way you may get through and you don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery's ABC 27 News.